People with keratoconus know that it can be tricky to get clear vision, especially with glasses. So this leaves them with contact lenses. So in this video, I wanted to go over five of some of the best contact lens options out there for people that have keratoconus or irregular stigmatism. Let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, with a show that keeps your eyes healthy and your vision clear. And I do videos all about the eyes to help you with your eyes. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my future videos. Now let's talk about contacts for keratoconus. The number one on the list is actually regular soft contact lenses. Now if you have mild keratoconus, a lot of times you can actually get away with the soft contact lenses made for astigmatism. It can still be tricky because sometimes people that have keratoconus that have that cone shaped cornea, sometimes the soft contact lenses have a hard time draping over that cone and so it makes the contact lenses a little bit unstable or the vision is unstable and it gets tricky to actually clear that vision up for a long period of time. But if you have really mild keratoconus, maybe that cone isn't quite as bad, sometimes you can get away with the contact, soft contact lenses that are made for regular astigmatism. But don't worry, if your keratoconus is a little bit more advanced and your vision really isn't that stable or clear with normal soft contact lenses for astigmatism, there are companies out there that make soft contact lenses specifically for people with keratoconus. It's able to drape and fit over the coned cornea a little bit better and so it gives you more stable and clear vision. Now because people with keratoconus have a more unique shaped cornea, a cone shaped cornea, sometimes soft contacts won't cut it. So if you have mild, moderate keratoconus, then usually you're gonna end up wearing RGP lenses or rigid gas permeable hard lenses. They're actually able to custom fit or fit the shape of the contact lens over that cone a little bit better. This gives you more stable vision and clearer vision. And one thing that's kind of tricky with hard contact lenses is they're not as comfortable as soft contact lenses. So if you're coming from wearing soft lenses and now we're gonna wear hard lenses, get ready to try and adapt to a less comfortable contact lens. So for that reason, usually you'll find a lot of doctors just recommending going straight into a hard contact lens so you can get right into adapting to a hard contact lens because if you start with a soft lens first, sometimes it can be trickier to adapt to a hard contact lens. Now usually what you'll hear is with RGPs or hard contact lenses, you'll get superior and clearer vision. And that's why there are a bunch of different companies, a bunch of different designs, specifically made for people that have keratoconus or irregular astigmatism. So your options are actually wide open with hard lenses. The third option is actually to do what's called a piggyback lens. You take the best comfort of a soft contact lens and put that on your cornea first and then you take the superior vision with a hard contact lens and put that right on top of the soft contact lens or it piggybacks right on the soft contact lens. That is helpful for people that have a hard time adapting to the hard contact lenses because they can be uncomfortable sometimes. And so you can use the soft contact lenses for the comfort, but put a hard contact lens on there to give you better vision. Number four takes a piggyback lens and takes it a step further called a hybrid lens. Probably the most common hybrid lens that you'll see out there is called Synergize. That's where you have a hard RGP, a hard contact lens center with a soft contact lens skirt. So the majority of the lens is actually touching your eye is a soft contact lens. And then right in the center that can give you the superior, better vision is a hard contact lens. And this is great for a lot of patients. A lot of patients love these types of lenses because they really are comfortable. They're healthier for the eye. The hard lens can give them better vision, but they can be pretty pricey, pretty expensive. You are paying for that design, that hybrid design, but a lot of people with keratoconus love it. Now, if you're curious about the visual symptoms of keratoconus or what the vision might look like for people that have keratoconus, make sure that you check out my other video. I kind of went into more detail there. I'll also put a link in the description below. Number five, and this is probably my most favorite contact lens option for people with keratoconus, and that is scleral lenses. Now, over the years, scleral lenses have become more and more popular. More and more people know about scleral lenses, but sometimes I'm surprised that a lot of people still don't know about the benefits and the amazing vision that you can get from scleral contacts. Scleral contacts are actually hard contact lenses and they're actually the biggest, widest contact lens out of all of the options in this video. 
Scleral contact lenses though give people great vision. I have so many patients that have had horrible vision from keratoconus or irregular astigmatism, have been fighting vision with glasses, soft contact lenses, normal RGP lenses, and then we put them in a scleral contact lens and all of a sudden they're down to 20-20 vision or their vision is better than they've had in years. And it's very fulfilling as a doctor to be able to provide that to a patient and that's why scleral lenses makes the top of the list of one of my most favorite contact lenses to fit. The reason why scleral lenses are so amazing is that it vaults the cone or vaults the keratoconus, meaning the contact lens doesn't even touch the cornea, it doesn't even touch the coned portion of the cornea. It completely takes that out of the picture. In fact, the scleral lens actually rests on the sclera of the eye, the white part of the eye, and that's why they're called scleral lenses. Another benefit, and you wouldn't think this would be a benefit with scleral lenses, but they are actually quite comfortable, especially compared to regular RGP lenses. The reason why they're comfortable is because they're so big, a lot of times they actually fit and hide and slide underneath the eyelid. And so the eyelid, when it's blinking, isn't touching the edge of the contact lens. And so sometimes it doesn't even know it's there. Scleral lenses are also used for people that have dry eye issues. One of the other benefits with scleral lenses is because they're so big, you actually fill the scleral lens bowl up with solution and then you put it on your eye and your eye is constantly bathed in a layer of solution. And so people that have dry eyes definitely benefit from scleral lenses. In fact, I made a whole video about scleral lenses and how you can treat dry eyes with it. Make sure you check out that video as well. If you have not heard of scleral contact lenses and you have keratoconus, irregular astigmatism, maybe you've had a corneal transplant and you just want to try and achieve better vision with a quite comfortable contact lens, give scleral lenses a try. And these are just five options that are out there for people with keratoconus. There are a lot of different options, a lot of in-between options, semi-scleral lenses, corneal scleral lenses. There are many different contact lens options out there if you have keratoconus. So definitely look into the options for you. Now, if you have any questions about the contact lenses mentioned in this video or about keratoconus, make sure that you comment below. I try my best to answer all the questions that people ask me. Hey, and thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, focusing on you and your eyes. Check out my other videos right there, and I'll see you in the next video.